by Intel, Vodafone, The Road to Odense, Betway, MSI, Logitech G, Pay Safecard, Mountain Dew League, and ESEA. And welcome back, everybody. We're live from the Intel Esports Arena for our second two best of ones of the night. It is going to be Na'Vi once more, but this time facing off against the Bulgarian Bulldozers in Windigo. Someone else that is an absolute bulldozer is Essio. Am I? Yeah, you do a lot of construction in your spare time. Oh, I thought you did that. Uh, I used to. Used to. The bricklaying. Yeah, of course. The universal sign for bricklaying, of course. Yeah. Put the cement. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. yeah. So and now, Ben, let's build ourselves into the second game. Build ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, yeah, let's go for it, yeah. You've got Na'Vi here, and Windigo here, and we're gonna put them there. Get some nice analyst desk. Check that's level, in. check that's level, Ben, is it? Yeah. Looks like it's weighted in favor of one team, and that would be Na'Vi. Yeah, that's fair to say, right? So we just saw Na'Vi, 2-0 heroic, convincingly as well, it was very, Easy is what I'd probably say more than anything because Heroic didn't really put up a fight. Navi, now moving to a game against Windigo, who you'd argue are an even lesser opponent. Than yeah. Heroic. I think that's pretty fair to say, right? Obviously, Heroic, they had a bit of a good showing. I feel like Freiburg is the one trying to pop off the most to actually really drag them through, having a tremendous affair. Mertz as well, showing up at times. Mm -hmm. However, they just couldn't quite close it out. Windigo, though, an entirely different kettle of fish. We're going to be delving in with this matchup. Straight away, we're into overpass. Windigo will be the terrorist to kick this one off, and Na'Vi will be starting out on that CT side. So Na'Vi starting on the CT side, as you mentioned. It's Zeus, the man with the kit. And it looks like it's going to be a fast B short as well as B monster play, and that's starting off really strong for Windigo. Ooh. Instantly returned in the, you know, against their favor. Ships, though. Look at Ooh. the aggression, Ben, just charging out towards short, essentially trying to move off the site they had just taken. Edward finds that counter pick. It's left on Punisher, but the only thing he's going to be punishing tonight is himself out of sadness for losing the round. Self pain, <laughs> self inflicted. Yeah, disappointment. Yeah, a lot of disappointment there. That piss round started so strong. They got the first, I believe it was the first two kills, and from there you could just see the, I wouldn't say disrespect from Navi, but it showed the confidence they were just willing to take every fight. They were just running through smokes. They looked a lot more ready for it, and Windigo, they didn't expect that, you know, retaliation mm. from that Navi. Navi definitely know when a bold confidence call is Look the correct simple. move to make. He's ready to each one's kills. He knows he could go. Super aggressive against these, and it's a you know it's a fair to say it's not a bad thing to say against them, is it? Yeah, Navi, we're, we were saying they're very one-sided in this in terms of predictions, and with good reason, I feel. Classic situation there. They'll just lose the pistol round. Second round is basically a throwaway at this point, unless you are. Perhaps North, I guess. They, they were the only team that did actually consistently force by in. Yeah. Well, Na'Vi already on the AWP. See what he's actually going to be getting up to into this round. Taking it towards short, is he? Looks like he's going to be getting aggressive. Oh, yeah, it's the double boost play. Up on top. However, we won't spot anyone out this time. They're grouped up outside of Monster unless they actually push through and try and go in towards a split push over on that site, which they could be, Ben. It looks like they're gaining that connect control to go for a late round strike on the B site. Yeah, B shot control about to come through, I think. Push through the door after the flashbang. Oh. But at the same time, Navi are doing a push towards Monster. Edward, quite unfortunate there. If you had a rifle, you might think he gets a kill. Yeah. But unfortunately, the MP9, not really great for a battle like that. It's a very bold call to make, though, already into the round. Yeah, especially when it's not really a bonus round, by any means. You know, Zeus actually dropped the Orcs simple. So you've actually bought quite a bit of money there, or invested, rather, into this round. So a man up for Windigo. Trying to reevaluate the situation, though. Everybody's still outside that B side of the map. Three outside monster, two to a short. They've got a lot of grenades to use here. They've got two smokes. Molotovs and a plethora of flashes as well. But unfortunately, Flamey, he's here, he has a Molotov. With time running down, Simple actually re-smokes the Monster Pipe as well. They're going to have to commit through that unless it goes too late. 30 seconds. It's going to be a late one. You can tell everybody's been told to set up for the smokes. 
Look how far back Blocker is with the bomb. They're going to A with this. It's going to be so obvious that this is a fake, though. Look at that. There's only one player pushed in. They'll hear them pushing up highway. But Blocker, if the two people on site do not get the kills, this round is over. Ooh. Luckily enough, Punisher finds the first fried, but this is awkward, Ben. He's, he's There's no the time. time. He can't plant. Simple still lands the shot. What was he hoping to achieve there? Bouncing on his own, so delayed. I mean, they had no bomb. Even if they would have killed the CTs, it wouldn't have mattered. The bomb physically wouldn't have made it to the site in time. It's like Windigo have tried to do their own copy of FaZe from yesterday. Because we saw that the first Byron FaZe had, it was literally down to the last second. Yeah. Windigo, they were off by a good two seconds on that. I could just see it. it was just, like Blocker was all the way back near like that T stairs sort of area. Blocker already looks a little bit tilted there as well. Frazzled. Yeah. That's what it is. Kind of spinning left to right, the frustration movements of a player. After playing CS for so long, you can see when somebody is actually quite annoyed. Yeah. The classic one was Rattlesnake in the past was stabbing walls. Yep. More aggressive stabs. Because some players stab when they go around corners. Rattlesnake yeah. stabs walls. Yeah, he literally he, just, yeah. just He tries to murder a wall. Out of frustration, he's just sat there. He holds down left click, just sits there a bit. He's manslaughtered that wall, Ben. Question is, will there be some more manslaughter into this round, though? Simple. Seven kills already this game. Starting off really strong when you compare, you know, at half time, I think, during the first or the second map we just witnessed. Simple had nine kills, I believe. Didn't really have to do much, but the push is going to be coming in towards him here. Puts the smoke in, trying to give himself a better angle. But there's two players towards long as well. Navi have actually given up that B site as well. It's quite crazy. Like, they've left just Edward on that side of the map. Unfortunately for Windigo, if they were to go towards B, they might have a better chance. But on the A side, there's a lot of players in the way. And they'll just get mowed down. Yeah, just being picked to pieces, Ben. Punisher's going to fall there to Simple's Orb. The only player that did go for the gamble and go for the backstab round through the B site is Blocker. However, the opportunity of him getting anything done to this round is very marginal. Unlikely he'll really even find a frag as the flank is covered. Ooh, Zeus. that was a bit of a mishap. Uh, Luckily enough, uh, Electronic did get the kill. Yeah, that was very odd. Um, I wouldn't say he thought he was going to get the kill. No. But <laughs> that was, I don't know, a bit weird. But Windigo, this it's not really, not really showing anything so far. Like, there was a bit of, they got that first kill on the first Byron and then kind of overthought it a bit. Which... You hate to see it because, it, you know, it just shows that they're not used to this sort of environment, I guess, to a degree. They did just hear that smoke being put out, or the Molotov being put out there. Here comes the flash. Simple will shoot, but Electronic is still up here, though. And Flamey, he's ready to go aggressive. As soon as Simple shoots, we'll probably see a wide swing from both either Electronic or Flamey, or maybe both. There comes the peek from him. Flamey should be peeking now as well. He gets the kills with playground. Electronic gets the second. Really easily done. You could just you could tell it was going to happen. And Zeus just runs through the fire. It's <laughs> an interesting one. Blocker. Unfortunately, he does get the kills with Flamey, but nonetheless, another run towards Navi, and not very inspiring from Windigo. And that's where the pause has come through. They were losing these rounds really quickly, and you know they were very one-sided as well. Perhaps learning from Heroic there, that they need to go for the pause instead of just letting the rounds go away too quickly. Ultimately though, based on what we've seen so far, Navi have clearly got the confidence to just take any fight. Yeah. And if you're Windigo, that's a really horrible sight because you're going to feel like you're being disrespected for one. Like the CIS region is known for having that playstyle anyway. Very aggressive, very confident. Yeah, and Windigo are now going to be up against it in such an awkward way where they kind of need to get on the board. But they need to win the firefights, and it's not been working for them so far. And obviously this is the last two games for Na'Vi of the night. They've already got six points out of the six games, that, uh, the two games they've played. So if they can pick these two up, they'll definitely be quite happy with their display today. And It's going to be a short crunch, but Edward's ready to fight it. They're going to come two out of door, two through the pipe. If Edward's able to get a peek towards the pipe, he might catch them off guard, but instead, looks like he's going to fall back. So they get connect and control, and this will then instigate 
push towards the actual short way through the door. Instead of actually going with a flashbang, it looks like they're just going to time it randomly. They open the door, they push the pipe, so it's more of a silent push from them. And it's flamey. Ooh. They'll have heard that. He gets the kill and the trade is attempted, oh, but it's ben. just not there. He pulls back and still gets the follow up, and he was that confident. He went back in for more, regressed into the round. The nades and the rotate back around as the CTs arrive on the scene, but they're being dispatched. Blocker finds that headshot simple, struggling to connect the wallbangs with the AWP will trade up to the M4. Electronic left the support. The two versus three retake now into the hands of Na'Vi. What can simple? and his partner in crime get up to. Flashbang gonna go out, there's the follow-up as well. Hoping they can draw the T's to peak them. And they do find the majority of kills, it's all up to Blocker. Electronic now knows where he's playing from. Tries to get the headshot off, Beautiful. the wall bang will do it. And that is gonna be the defuse. Na'Vi, 6-0 now. That's a really awkward post plant from Windigo. So there's a player stuck in pit. Blocker as well to the left. So when Electronic starts spamming that ramp through the wood, hmm. The player in sight thought they were in a firefight, so he wide swing and you know, he gets caught off guard completely. The player in pit now tries to peek, take the peek. Blocker, unfortunately, he was able to get simple, but the firefight and you know in favor of electronic, and that's six rounds on the board already for Navi. They just showed the aggression of Flamey. He was able to go up towards short, get the kill, and still not get traded yeah. for a good five seconds. Yeah, because he he went back in, gets the first kill, gets the second kill, falls back and thinks, all right, Maybe. oh yeah, I'll, I'll try again. That Might seemed alright, yeah. And Windigo reacts with another tactical point. I think that's purely because that round should have been theirs, really. 3v2 yeah. post part on the B site. Usually, you do win that. But alas, they did not. Simple and Electronic leading the way. 10 kills for Electronic, 9 for Simple. Well, round 7 now. Windigo needs to get around on the board soon. As you imagine, the frustration will be building. Three players grouped up outside Monster early into this one. The contact comes through. Flamey doesn't hit the shot, but doesn't go down either. So I have some more info that there are players outside Monster for Ward and RV. So Windigo did the same smokes that most people do on the AD default. They smoked the side of toilets. They smoked the front of toilets as well. All the way from outside B, though, if you know enemy from Navi had spotted that. Oh, Edward, that's really unfortunate. If he hadn't actually gone for that spam, he might have been able to get a kill towards those players pushing through the door. He was really worried about the short pipes being pushed. That he did go for that kill. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Flamey go for an aggressive push on short here. He's tempting it there. The smokes will be pulled very soon. Victor, the man that's closest, gets the peek and gets the kill as well. Ooh. It's Victor not going Blocker. very well for Na'Vi. Getting the early entries, Ben. It's down to Electronic and Simple, and Victor able to keep on loading. So into this round, a whole lot better. And Victor actually having a good display. Three kills found for him into the round. Yesterday, he was a little bit lacklustre. Had um, quite a, a dip in performance, obviously. Struggling across the board, I think it was fair to say. Today, already looking better. Three kills into the round. Single-handedly pretty much wins it for Windigo. But that is one of those rounds where it's based off just individual performance on the entry. Yeah, it's something we've always been mentioning. If teams are having to rely on a single player to get three kills to win their rounds, it's not a good sign. However, perhaps maybe this is how they start building those rounds. Electronic saving means he'll probably be able to drop two guns across towards Zeus and Flamey, perhaps an AWP, if they do want it. Electronic saves that M4. Cash is a lot better for Na'Vi. I mean, they can still rebuy up around this. They can drop those weapons over. Electronic going to drop that gun. He can buy up a follow-up as well. As he was sat on 8k, so he's going to be quite happy with himself. They do get the full buy out. Utility's not too dire either. So they keep the one up on simple. The moles have actually missed by Electronic there. I think it landed on the actual side. Double with a flash. Windigo seemed very keen on actually fighting back against that mid-take. Even though, if you remember the last time, they did lose it catastrophically, really. It was a three-kill sweep in the space of, what, five seconds? Hmm. But they're using a lot of utility just to get control of, arguably, their side of the map. Right, that sort of fountain area is not what you normally have in control as a CT. It's 
simple though. We'll be Molotov off that angle. So we're doing a lot more of a A side default. We've not, through this map so far, they've always gone towards B. Is the main thing. That flash forces simple off another angle again. Really good utility usage in terms of denying simple at the very least. Ooh, electronic. He's going to go aggressive. Straight into blocker though. You could say he blocked him out of the round though. You could indeed, Ben. And now it's just left with 30 seconds on the clock and a 5 versus 4 into the round blocker. Looks to continue further his reign of terror, but can't really decimate anyone from that position. Simple fires off a warning shot, but concedes sight control. They eventually realize where Zeus has been playing from this entire time, but no shenanigans from Zeus today. The say has been called. A very awkward round, though. I feel Electronic probably didn't need to make the play he did. He still had a smoke available to him. If he just smoked highway, you perhaps delay that execute that Windigo were going to go for. But instead, he drops Zeus. He was stuck in a horrible position as well. He was a bit too deep. Gets killed as well. Windigo with another round where they keep five alive, it looks things. Slowly getting back into the game at the very least, but... Still a long way before they can even take a lead. Terrorists win. I wouldn't be surprised if Na'Vi forced around with the guns they did save though. They know they can just get out another round back on the board. You can see guns possibly being passed around there. Yeah, SMG's being dropped. MP5 for Electronic, UMP for Zeus. Simple will keep the AWP. That same also have been used by them. So when you go have always fought that angle. That's shown here. So because of the first time that that Molotov happened, and Windigo did lose the battle there, it means every round that Molotov comes in, they have to do that same execute, otherwise they risk the same thing happening again. Which is a great worry, because you lose a smoke straight off the get-go, you lose a flash. Well, you lose two flashes, technically. But Na'Vi playing a lot more reserved on the CT side. Not so much aggression. It's nice to see that map boost come into effect more. It really does give you a nice chance to get a drop on players, especially if they go towards the toilets area. Although with that smoke in play, it makes this position really awkward. You have that tiny little gap where simple. He did see someone then. Ooh. Actually goes for the shot instead, he's just running across. This is crazy. Look at the slip straight out, Ben. Try and go for the bold attack. Simple from the sideline. Gets one at least before he's traded out of ships. Was able to find the adjustment onto his head. Bubble and Punisher. They get a killer piece as well. And it has quickly started to fall to pieces. Na'Vi have been toppled into this round. But it is only Flamey that remains. It's a one versus four. Let's still try and get the control up through Bank. Pushes in, but in reality, I mean, you can't do much here. It's worth just trying to go for the save. Oh, guess that kill though at least, as Blocker will aggress. And that's going to be the save call. Oh, he baits them in, Ben. Oh, this is perfect. He has a kit and a smoke is the thing. If he really wanted it, he could try and go for that ninja fuse. But instead, looking to damage the T side economy. Unfortunately, there's a player in B though. Punisher, oh Punisher, sorry, about to face him. It's a lot of damage. He might have the bomb explosion, if not Punisher. Windigo looking a lot better in these last three rounds. That take, though, was very scrappy. A lot of flashbangs being just thrown for the sake of it. And the confusion from that kind of made the defense a bit shaky, I guess. Now we finally get an eco on the board, though. After losing three in a row. The scary bit for Windigo is... You're still against players like Simple, Electronic, Flamey. They can still win this round with Deagles. 
Like, it's not quite as simple thinking this is probably around when they don't have much money. Ooh. Okay, so the double boost actually works out. Edward gets that first kill with the Deagle, but Victor just spamming back annihilates Flamey. Seeing two players left on Na'Vi into this round, it's not gone amazingly for them, and should in reality be a fourth round now picked up for Windigo on that T side. Getting a nice little string of rounds together here. Yeah, it looks like it might be their fourth round on the board already. Slowly getting into it. Simple did spot a player towards long there. He actually takes the peak and he gets the kill as well. Only a 3v2. Electronic here as well. Victor is watching this side, however. If Electronic gets the first shot, he'll get the kill. But Simple gets taken down. He did see damage to ships. But ultimately... It's a gigantic ask to think that Electronic might be able to win this round, I feel. He actually grabs the orb, he's gonna get out there. That's a really nice save. Bubble grabbed the AK, thinking he might need it in this 2v1, but instead, the fact that Electronic gets the orb changes things quite a bit. It's a good save to get away with as long as he can actually clutch onto it. It seems like it. So we'll go 6 to 4 now. When we delve into round number 11, what will Navi have up their sleeve? How can they reset? As they will have a little bit of cash wide back over to them, obviously losing the string of rounds on the trot. And the electronic having the AWP save will make it a little bit easier to rebuy going into round 11. Yeah, keeping that AWP does mean Simple does not need to spend the money himself. Flamey also reinvests into one as well. So that's an interesting, a bold choice there. Spending a lot of money on towards it. Block has been doing that multiple towards shore every single time. Navi are taking four players towards B as well here. However, Windigo, because of how many rounds they've won towards that A side, they've got no reason to go back towards B. Unless it's late in the round as a fake, they have no reason whatsoever. Ooh. Simple. A bit overzealous, I feel. We're very much in the, uh, the force there. Yeah. I wonder if that's frustration from losing the last four rounds on the trot now as well, getting to him a little bit. Flamey is also quite low, just 18 HP. Edward, big tags coming through as he does spam up these players. And everyone is grouping up. They're going to try and go for this B play, Ben. Yeah, Electronic's trying to make the move towards, you know, that connect to sort of area, but Bubble's moving up here long. So the call might change, but there's only 40 seconds left here. I was trying, should be able to get the drop on Punisher here. It's a free kill. So I'll grab that before Edwards gets traded. But he did get traded anyway towards that short pipe. 30 seconds left. Bubble going through heaven could be absolutely huge for the round. But they're going back to A again. Oh. I'll try to hear this. He will. He's in a great position to deal with it as well. He knows they're going to get past him. He can try to go up the ladder and slam dunk upon them, but it does not matter as Zeus is also cutting off the rotate. They might be focusing on the angle, though. So when he peeks up, his head will go rolling they have to off. Pump towards and default. So Electronic, when he comes up, he might be able to stop it. But Blocker block stops him. But it's oh, too no late. Time. Flamey kills Bubble, and that's the round over. Ooh. I don't know why you wouldn't just go back towards B. Let Bubble get the backstab on whoever's close to you over towards Monster. This is the second time they, plant, they tried to plant. With three seconds on the clock. It's so bizarre. Like, the simpler play would be to literally just let Bubble make that lurk for it happen. Instead, they just overthink it a bit and Bubble's like, A is clear, come A. Yeah. Not really considering the clock in the round. And now they go back towards that B area. It's a fast B rush. It's going to be the Cloud9 strategy. Smoke's landing in towards CT. The retake has already been called by Na'Vi. Oh, the boost as well. Ooh, Edward on a heightened in. angle. It's unfortunate. I mean, if they had an extra second there, he would have already been in position. He could have tried to hammer down with a Famous, but not given that chance today. As the rotate comes around, just setting up all the utility that is on that T side is now being forced out 
early on into this defense. Another Molotov goes up. They've wasted a lot of time with the Molotovs, Ben. Navi only have a single flash on simple. It's going to come in now. They need to go if they're going to come in. Oh, blocker. Easy kill on the electronic. Just holding the this angle. Has to be a save. Yeah, it's it too seems late. like it. They've left it way too long. The Molotovs kept them at bay for ages. They didn't have the confidence to go for it. And they're hunting hard. They're fully committing to this, but they are just sprinting out of there. Simple goes down. So that is one warp dropped on the ground. But look how low they are. They need to be careful here. If they push in, the crossfire should be hold. They do find those kills. We saw something similar yesterday when Windigo took B. I believe yeah, it was against Big. And the retake came in, but like it was such an unfortunate situation where if you're trying to retake B with five players against five players, as the CT side, the issue there was Windigo didn't make a play, did they? They, they sat on it with Big Wales and re retake fully. They had a lot of grenades. Na'Vi, on the other hand, had you know that one flash that came through, didn't really get anything done. And Windigo were able to just get that one kill, it changed everything, allowed them to freely win the round. And ultimately, they took the second AWP away. Which means Simple's now on a FAMAS. So they not only won the round, but made it easier to get a follow-up here into round 13. Considering how this half started out, it is very impressive that Windigo have been able to bring it back into more of an equal situation. So, at the end of the half, it could be quite... An Tasty story, depending on how these next few rounds start to go. Door going to be open. Victor pushes down, tries to get first contact. Will break his way through the door, but Punish has already been killed. Still trying his luck, and the drive-by shot comes out as he gets that pick on Flamey and a small tag on Edward as well. So Flamey perhaps being a bit too overconfident, a bit greedy perhaps, trying to get that extra kill. But if, they, if Edward were to cover through the short pipe towards Monster, you'll have seen the enemies going through, but instead, Zeus about to take the peek. It is smoked up, though. He has a Molotov as well. If they just charge through this, the next suit comes in. He could stop them quite easily. Spot the feet. Molotov comes through. Nade as well. They need to put that out if they're going through. They are going to push out Edward with the timing, so Lucky's actually been able to get back towards short, and Zeus supports him. They find that frag, he re-aggresses, but goes down to ships his AK, and Zeus is on a full-on sprint bend. No one is holding for Monster. They don't believe all this could be going down. They are all coming from here. Eventually, the contact will be found. Zeus gets the first, the adjustments there from Bubble, but Bubble doesn't realize there's still more. Luckily, works out the shenanigans, but you've left it on a one-on-one -on -one with Simple, trying to grab the AK. Eventually does. Fires out the warning shots. Five shots left. He'll use them all up, but he'll win the round and save the AWP as it goes eight to five. This is scary now. Na'Vi waking up, winning that round, but quite an unorthodox one. Sending three players through monsters a bit of a... It's a bold move. But it, the weirder bit is if they would have gone all together, they probably would have got mowed down. Yeah. So instead they went for a first guy go out, then try and get the trade on him. If you don't get the trade, third player, then go out. It was weird. Like playing, you know, taking turns. One way. by one, yeah. I suppose the thing is though, they didn't you expect, expect it. it. That's yeah. why, yeah. Very unorthodox. And ultimately they do get the round. And wind goes straight back to that B rush. Flamey's the only player actually in the site right now. He'll just put that Molotov out, but he's going to need to fight. Ooh. Victor, easy headshot on the first. Ships and block are going to get a kill apiece, but it falls to Electronic and Simple to Ooh. save the day. The Molotov transferring a lot of damage there. And punishes AK does even more than that, as it rips the head off a of Simple in a matter of seconds. Electronic is just going to pull away and leave it for now, as that will be a sixth round picked up by Windigo. So Na'Vi having issues trying to defend that rush. You know, electronic here. I, these kills don't really mean much other than giving him something like three hundred dollars. Especially when Windigo have plenty of money in the bank. If anything, it just means worse things for electronic. He loses his gun, and now they're gonna have a really horrible buy. So this last round of the half. Na'Vi was six 0 up at one point. Oh, they looked really confident, but you could say a bit overconfident, perhaps, thinking they should have been winning a bit earlier. A lot of force buys, but that is the Na'Vi way. Oh, that's a nice tag by Electronic. 88 damage on Victor. Bubble takes long, but 
play behind the rock, Zeus didn't even peek up. And Bubble, he's tagged again as well. So while it is a man advantage for the side of Windigo, they've got two players who are so low. Question is, will Flamey check behind him at all here? Technically has no reason to do so, especially when he's taking the firefight there. Edward did get the kill onto him, but that was one of the weak players. So the one dig doesn't really benefit them that much other than it being a kill. It's quite scary whenever a team decides to go towards that B-bomb site against an anti-eco, especially when there's two players here in simple and electronic. Both players, roughly 15 kills each here. That's the contact made, simple. Holding on the edge, gets the free kill. Gets the second as well. From bad to worse, Punisher on his own 1v3. He'll probably catch Simple here. And they're actually giving him 1v1s. Oh. Punisher, man. Popping off into this round. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. He's got away with this. Two kills found. So one versus one. To decide how this final round of the half goes. If it's going to be an 8 7 or a 9 6. He clears the angles, but didn't realize where Electric was. A simple shot will punish him. And it does go 9-6 in favor of Na'Vi, ever so slightly, as the sides will begin to flip around. Windigo, not too bad of a T-half there, considering how bad it could have been. Well, two of the rounds they lost were due to going back to that A-bomb so with no time left, really. Yeah. Like that, that guaranteed the round was lost. And if you take it like that, you know, the first three rounds went pretty horrifically, if you think about them that way. It's a good recovery at the end of the day, right? Na'Vi was 6-0 up. Windigo to get six as well with him pretty well. However, can the CT side defend against the AKs of Electronic, Simple, Flamey? That's the question. Yeah, it's going to be a lot harder now. And Na'Vi, they can set the pace of the game as well. They're allowed to use that controlled aggression rather than the fear of a mishap. On the CT side, it's a little bit more awkward. It's more of a judgment call. T side, you can absolutely run away with it, set the pace of the game, especially with AKs in these players' hands. As well, so far tonight, we've not seen Na'Vi win a T-side pistol. And because of that, they've been really aggressive on that first buy round in the third round. And with the aggression that they've had, they've been able to capture the opponents off guard. If they were able to get a pistol round win, they might be completely different. You know, they might change that third round play a bit up. Only time will tell as the leaky pipe has returned. So it, it's definitely leaking at 25 seconds left in the round. I imagine it does it quite early in the round as well. Mm. Basket's moved. It has, it, it moves quite a lot. Yeah, that basket, at one point I remember it being in, in, in front, front of the, the branch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But it seems like we are going to be delving back into the action now. 9-6. In favor of Na'Vi. They're now going to be on the terrorist side. Bye will come through. Looks like it could be full armor across the board for Na'Vi, and it will be. Oh, oh. slash and simple. He keeps getting stabbed. I wonder who keeps doing it. There's a repeat culprit, perhaps. You'd be very annoyed, wouldn't you? It would slowly just get on your nerves, wouldn't it? And that's not a good start. I mean, Victor with the first kill. The flash comes in, but you can't follow it up. Oh. Flamey, he's there, Devil Ben. He might be blind, but he's still getting kills as Electronic and Flamey have had a kill apiece. All three of the CTs are at the same bomb site now. This allows, you know, Simple and Flamey to just charge onto the A site. They'll be able to get so, like, such advanced positions here. They'll hear the rotation as well. You've got two unarmored opponents coming at you and a 7 HP armored opponent. It's in a very good spot for Navi to take this. Flamey. Holds the angle. Simple as well towards bank. Oh, nice timing on the face. Gets that easy headshot and eliminates blocker. They've got that bomb down and the rotate is going to be coming through, but it's quite delayed. And it's just Victor and Punisher that are actually going to arrive. The last two remaining CTs. <sighs> Detected. Flamey from quite a distance finds one quill. Uh, Zeus gets the backstab as well. So Victor does perish. And that'll go nine to six. Or ten to six, rather, as Navi picked that one up. 
And that is an important pistol round to win, Ben. Yeah, I mentioned the possibility of Na'Vi taking the pistol and that the third round being played a bit differently. Windigo now, they buy a single flashbang onto Victor. And it looks like they'll be doing something set with the USPs that they have in their hands. Perhaps some kind of mid-crunch as soon as they hear noise close to the toilet's entrance. The question is, will they hear any noise at all? Because Edward's walking all the way up. Flash comes through from the Navi side. Victor is ready to throw that flashbang just over the wall, so it'll, land, it'll pop just in front of this party sort of area. However, Electronic, he's already cleared B. You will see the bomb rotate all the way back. But the longer Windigo wait, the more risk they are playing that the B bomb has already been taken. But you'd normally think the bomb would be planted. The flash comes through now. Edward's going to hear a lot of them running around. He only gets the one. Oh, Simple, though. Holding. Gets the kills as they fountain out towards him. And they will all be washed away. By Simple's AK-47. So, 11-6, to six, still building onto that. It's a nice, clean round for them. And Windigo will be able to rebuy up now, Ben. The M4s are being brought out to play. So how aggressive are Na'Vi going to be here? On Dust 2, they were phenomenally aggressive. Run straight up short, got the kills. On Train, they were able to get all the entries needed. Looks like they're running straight towards mid as well. There's going to be an actual firefight here. Punisher, he might have been seen going on to party there. There's two of them here. One aggressive long as well. They know there's somebody close. Now we know really well, but do they expect a player from long as well? Blocker's play could be massive. Ooh. Oh. Simple with the opening headshot. Eliminates Blocker in a matter of seconds. Ebb, we're going to be able to get the trade kill. But it has all crumbled down now rather quickly. This is not looking great for Wind to go into this round, Ben. Should be a 12-6 scoreline. And now we project themselves into a very good position as this game carries on. Windigo, the last two remaining boys in blue, will be on the site. Trying to get aggro here, gain the short control. See if they can poke and prod, retake a little bit of the map. If they need any kind of edge they can get into this round. A minute on the clock. And the T's are coming right towards them. They spot them out, but it's too late. Flamey gets himself a nice gift. As he parties over by party with the double kill. 12 to 6 now. I do like that they tried pairing up at least. Try and get info together, but unfortunately, that smoke fading. Terrace have the upper angle as well. They have the high ground. Deal it's over, them. Anakin. Yeah, they deal with them. It's over, Bubble. <laughs> I have, the high, I have the high ground now. It's over. Yeah, so, Windigo. Some pistol armor involved. The scout on Bubble. I think, believe Victor dropped him that. Based on the money. Three players towards a long for Navi. Oh, for Windigo, sorry. And Simple walks into all three of them. They all get hit themselves, and they take Simple down. So that's a good opener. But can they get anything else done, though? Electronic had success walking in to be on the previous Antique round. Will he have some more success now? Looks like he will. The B site's been left completely empty as they've dedicated towards short. If Electronic was able to get towards CT, this A site will be free. Ships and Blocker will be thinking, we've got B-Short control. Could have walked out Monster, maybe, is what they'll be thinking. But Navi are going towards B. They think it might be a five-man stack towards A. So if they're very loud running through Monster, Ships will hear that. The rotate's coming through now. Electronic should be able to hold it. Does get the one. Oh. They've seen him. <laughs> That's so awkward. That's unfortunate as well, because he actually does get one kill before he gets punished, so... It makes it worse than it would have been into that round. Lucky Electronic was on the scene to deal with Blocker. Headshot for Victor as well. And Flamey gets himself the double. So they do quickly breeze past Windigo's defense into that round. But this is when they have money to reinvest. Their next rebuy going to be coming out. Warp on Bubble. And then four M4s. Simple gets involved with the AWP as well. So perhaps an awkward battle on the cards, as you mentioned, Bubble picking it up for the Windigo side. Oh, they're doing the quad boost. Oh my god. So unfortunately, they're all out of heaven already. And there's nobody boosting at the sandbags. The train blocking the view, of course. But you can still watch the monster push and flamey, unfortunately. He was looking at a foot. So he was a bit confused. He's wondering, can I actually shoot that? 
I was surprised at how quickly they got that boost. That done. was speedy, yeah. Yeah. Practice that one. It's like Super Mario Odyssey, stacking all the Goombas. Can't say I get the reference to because uh. I haven't played it. It's a bit too new. Too fresh. Too fresh for me. But Wendy got a nice entry kill into the round though. Navi now needs to react off that. They take B short. Perhaps allow Simple to try and find a pick towards that B site. A boost might be on the cards. Instead, they're going to clear up towards Connector. So all in all, map control-wise, Windigo kind of given up most of the map. Other than, you know, halfway up A-Long, which you see here from Punisher. He's going to actually take the fight. He'll catch Edward off guard. That's a free kill. That smoke highway's just faded. Bubble's going to peak this any second now. He needs to check it. Jump spot did come in. He didn't see anybody though. Simple saw him. <sighs> nice kill. Yeah, Bubble gets the shot off, kills Zeus. Still holding on the site. As this push will come around, tries to go for the wide swing. Smokes are in position. <sighs> Sidelined by Electronic. He actually does push Ten past. Seconds left there. There's a player at long still alive as well. Punisher. They're charging out. The good cover from Electronic as Ooh. well. Bomb did go down, but Simple. Unfortunately, there was a limited area yeah. where he could plant. Did what he could within the confines of that round. So it does go 13 to 6. I mean, they get a little bit of extra bonus money because of the bomb plant. Windigo will take that round in the end. They got both orbs too. So that's an interesting because we. Bubble was orping just then. The other one we've seen in the past was ships. So you can see he's holding on to that one. Question is, what can he actually get done with it? Because we saw double up from Big on this map, and it wasn't exactly working out too well, I feel. Because, you know, Smooya was the upper towards that B site, and he wasn't really getting much done. Like, he wasn't being given that option to get stuff done, at least. There wasn't too much he could do, though. That's the thing. Quite limited. I, mean, I suppose an aggressive B take, though, towards Short coming in. And they will open the door and allow him to peek into the connector. Flamey is here, but I think he's holding for the push rather than the peek. He thought about it. Molotov comes through, but Bubbles missed it. He's bowled himself. Finally, they've had to pull back. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, they have to give that control up now and fall back towards the site. Small amount of information there, but nothing really huge. And they haven't caused any rotates or anything of the sort. Navi still grouped up. Mostly by Fountain. A couple of players are going to be pushing around as well. But they can try and take this long control now. Flashbang goes out. And the A site does appear to be where they hope to end up. Still a minute left. Ships with the AWP on this site. They've left Bubble towards B with his alongside Victor to cover for him. But Windigo, they're willing to allow essentially two to a site with a rotate available. Question is, will Navi actually execute using the Navi execute? Right, so the set of smokes coming through. Here comes the push then. How much can Windigo hold back? The Molotov comes in from ships. He's actually pushing through to fight it, but looks things. Okay, here comes the aggression, oh. but ships misses the first shot and the follow up as well. He's forced to deviate from the original plan, but Punisher in the close range angle does do an effective job of overthrowing Zeus Blocker as well. Smoke's Comes faded. into the firefight as he starts windmilling them down, and it is just left on simple. Normally incredibly effective, but in a situation like this, it's just about saving, but he is a master of that as well. Shows us a quick 101 on how to get away and keep on to your AWP. But Windigo will most importantly take that round. So some really nice moves there. Punisher gets that first kill because he's holding that cubby. There's a slight little gap in the smoke. So he gets the first player running into sight. He gets traded, but Blocker makes the big play. Jumps straight back in the same position, gets another kill and gets away. And that causes complete disarray, because you normally set two players to go for the planet and then people's cover. So the two people going in die, and you're like, okay, well, I guess we need to push in as well. Boost is coming in at B-Shot. Electronic was thinking about going aggressive there, though. Fortunately for him, he will not. Victor's messed up the monster smoke as well. That's awkward. That means it allows Simple to just hold that angle, as we saw. A massive gap there. Still holding that B short boost though. 
finally drop off it. Zeus heard that. Also into the pipe electronic. He was thinking about going through, but he actually pulls back. So the end call is quite clearly towards that B bomb site. They're going to boost again, this time towards the middle bridge sort of area. Flash comes through, ships, it's a nice entry kill. Here comes the push. It was nice, but is it enough? Victor doubles on it, gives them the assist they need. They realize Electronic's angle, but they can't really do much about it. And Edward was the one to go for the huge star play. The double kill is tremendous. The nade running in won't do much either. They are left on a very fierce two versus two here, but it's Electronic and Simple up against Bubble and Punisher. Electronic, keeping yourself low to the ground, finds the initial frag, has to reload as he waits for the second push to come through. Fast flick up. Debates whether or not they want two orbs. He will stick to the AK. Only one orb there on Simple is what they're going to stick with. And Windigo, they pause off the back of that because they have just been completely overthrown. And this breaks them as well, leaving them in a pretty dire position in terms of their money. Yeah, you could argue that is because of Simple last round. He took two players with him when he did save. And that means Windigo now, you mentioned, there's like next to no money left. Yeah. The CT economy, you have to be winning quite cleanly, whether it's clean in terms of people staying alive or not using many grenades. And unfortunately for them, they had not many people alive and not many grenades left. So a lot of rebuys are coming to come in. Question is, will they force into this one or will they wait one and try and play for overtime? I feel like you have to force into it myself. And that is the call being made as well. An M4 scout, pistols across the board. It's a big round for them. If they lose this one, they're in a very tough spot. Boost or short comes in again. Zeus, unfortunately not landing the shot. You could have a bit too aggressive perhaps, wanting to kill, spraying a bit too much. Does get killed the Punisher, and there's kills across the board really. They get a kill with that boost as well. The explosion towards this B site looking very effective right now. Good majority of the players are gone. It is only just up to one in bubble. Getting the tags out, but not really bursting anyone's bubble just yet. And Edward will just completely annihilate him. Finds that easy headshot. Navi seeming like they've been able to work out what they needed to do. And should now be closing down the game versus Windigo here. The first map in this series between the two sides. Appearing as if overpass will be won. I'd love to see a comparison of simple, oh, not simple, sorry, uh, electronic stats on the CT side compared to the T. Because with an AK, he's outrageous as a player. He gets so many shots they shouldn't. It just seems like he's so much more confident when he has an AK in his hand. Especially because Navi, like, you know, last map on train, he managed to catch up. In Dust 2, it was the same as well. And the same has happened this map as well. A lot of match points to play with for Na'Vi though. Flamey does hear that player doing the jump spot, but... It's next to impossible to actually land that shot. Door does open. Flamey was worried someone might be playing on the close angle as well. Uses the Molotov. Oh, electronic. Walking out here. <sighs> if he would have found that headshot, whole round could have gone entirely differently. They would have been able to swarm out towards the B site, but as things currently lie, they're just keeping everyone grouped up towards B. Electronic's actually walking through it. Ships, unfortunately, pulls away as the smoke's fading. Ultra's just charging. Oh, sprint straight in, gets one. The adjustment towards the second, but simple will help him out. Ignites Victor. And then carries on as well. Annihilates not one, but two men. Flamey with a final kill. That is the headshot uppercut on Blocker. And Na'Vi take the game. They will win the first map there. That's three wins on the trot now for Na'Vi. And they're going to be coming for a fourth. Yeah, very one-sided when you think about the scoreline. Yeah. But that first half, Windigo could have done even better than they did. If you think about the two rounds that we have in mind would be first buy round. They have no time, but they start to go all the way back towards A. Bit of an inexperienced there, I guess it's fair to say. And then the same thing happened again a few rounds later, which I think that's just not really remembering what errors you've made this game. Yeah, and not doing it again and over again. So, interesting one. Obviously, in the end, it does fall in favor of Na'Vi. Seemed like it 
had a, a bit of a scrappy mid portion, but returned to strong solid form there by the end. So they will be winning that one, Ben. And there is still another map to come. That is going to be the final face off for Na'Vi today, which will be coming up after this. We'll find that after the break. ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, Vodafone, The Road to Odense, Betway, MSI, Logitech G, Pay Safeguard, Mountain Dew League, and ESEA.